Hello everyone, welcome you all in this channel. Today I will demonstrate how to solve linear equations in two and three variables using the scientific calculator. For this purpose, I am using the Casio FX991MS model. So suppose we have two equations here, 2x plus 5y equals to 20. 3x plus 6y equals to 12. So if we compare these two equations with the, st with the standard form, so you can find the value of a1 is 2, b1 is 5, then c1 is 20. Similarly, the value of a2 is the 3, b2 is 6 and c2 is 12. So we will use these values and find the value of the x and y by using this calculator. So you always uh, have habit to reset the memory of the calculator before using for any calculation. So for resetting the memory, you need to press the shift button, then mod. Now there are three options. So you need to press the three for reset of the all. So you press the 3. Now press the equal sign 2 times 1 and 2. Now your calculator is ready and all the pre-filled values are reset. Now for uh, solving the linear equations you need to press the mode button 3 times 1, 2 and 3. Now from these 3 options choose the 1 and press 1 from here for the equations. So press 1. Now there are two options available. Unknowns are 2 or 3. So first we will solve the two variables. Then we will solve for the three variables. So press the 2. So now it is asking the values. So first value is the a1. So what is the a1? a1 is the 2. Then equal next is the b1 that is the 5 equal next is the c1 that is the 20 equal the next is the a2 that is the 3 next is the b2 is the 6 and the last is the c2 is the 12. So first variable is the x and value of the x is the minus 20. So you got the value minus 20. Now press again equal sign you will got the second value that is the y equals to 12. So this way you can determine the value of x and y by using the scientific calculator. Suppose you have more than one equations. So suppose we have an equation here that is minus x plus 2y minus 3 equals to 0, 3x plus 4y minus 11 equals to 0. First you should uh, put this these two equation in the above form. For that you need to type again minus x plus 2y equals to 3 then 3x plus 4y equals to 11. So you need to type the value of a1 or b1 or a to b2 with the sign. So if there is the minus sign then you need to type the minus with the value. So let us try to solve these two equations. So put the equation equal sign. So again it is asking for the a1 value. So a1 value is basically the minus 1. So I will press the minus 1 then equal then b1 value is the 2 equal then the c1 value is the 3 equal then 3 is the value of the a2. So press 3 then equal then the 4 is the b2 value. So Place the 4 
equal and the last one is the C2 that is the 11 and equal sign. So you got the value of the x is the 1, the solution of x is the 1 and next value is the y. So again press the equal sign, so you got the value of the y is the 2. So you can check by putting these values in the equation uh, whether it is satisfying the equation or not. So we can put here in the equation and it will satisfy the equation. Let us I am putting the value in the first equation here. So minus x minus x that means minus 1 plus 2y. So 2 cross 2 equals to 3. So minus 1 plus 4 equals to 3 or 3 equals to 3. That means your roots are correct. So this was the method for solving the uh, two variable linear equations. Now we can solve the linear equations with of three variables. Now we will solve the linear equation in three variables. So for this first you need to reset the memory. So press the shift then press mod and press the 3 and reset all. So press 2 time equals and 1 then 2. So your the previous example of two variable will now clear from the memory. Now we can solve the uh, linear equation in three variables. So for this you need to first press the mode button three times 1, 2, 3 times. Now press the 1. Now choose 3 unknowns. So press the 3. So now it will ask the values. So you have 3 equations here x minus 2y plus 3z equals to 9. So the value of a1 will be the 1. So it is asking the value of a1. So press 1 then equal then b1 is the minus 2. So press minus 2 then equal then press the value of c1 that is the 3 3 equal then press the value of the coefficient that is the d1 that is the 9 and press the equal. Now again press the value of a2 so a2 is the minus 1 so press minus 1 then equal then value of the b2 is basically the 3 so press the 3 and press equal now the value of c2 is the minus 1 so minus 1 then equal now press the value of d2 so d2 is the minus 6 so minus 6 then equal and the last equation so the value of a3 is a 2 so press 2 then equal then the value of b3 is basically the minus 5 so press minus 5 equal then c3 is the 5 equal and the last value is the 17 that is the d3 so 1 7 or then press so the first variable x equals to 1 you can see from here the second variable y equals to minus 1 and the third variable z equals to 2. So these are the three values of the variables x, y and z. So in this way you can calculate the any number of linear equations by using this calculator. Hope you like this video please like and subscribe this channel for the regular updates regarding your uh, needs of the technical tools for the academic purpose. Thank you watching for this.